good afternoon everyone how are you guys uh, i hope you are all well today i am going to show you how you can install mysql on amazon linux 2 so i have created a previous video for installing mysql server on amazon linux 1 so basically amazon linux 2 is a uh, modified version of CentOS 7 so amazon takes the basic of CentOS 7 and then he applies some changes create his own secure distribution so and maintain all changes over there so amazon linux 2 is the new uh, linux distribution from aws and they are going to provide support and they are going to provide a long term support for amazon linux 2 okay so uh, let's get started i am on my ec2 dashboard so if you just click on services and ec2 you will be uh, redirected to ec2 dashboard and then I am going to create a new uh, instance, a launch instance. Then I am going to choose Amazon Linux 2 64 bit x86. And then I, I will keep everything as default D2 micro for fit here. And then uh, for IAM role, I already had created an IAM role, I will choose that. Add storage and X next security group. I have previously created security groups. Here we are launch. I have the key pair, so I'll just use this one launch instance. Okay, so my instance is uh, going to be launched very soon. Will take one or two minutes, so let's go. <coughs> okay. So uh, it's already running. Uh, I have shown how you can connect your instance using uh, session manager. So I am in AWS Systems Manager, and then in the Systems Manager, you have a session manager. Using session manager, you can connect your instance via this console. So let's go here. Okay, let's try it again. Probably it's still in the launching phase. Let's finish the initialization. Here it is. I am now connected to my instance. I am going to run sudo update. Sorry. It is updating my all the packages uh, from the repositories. <coughs> okay, that's done. Let's uh, clear the screen. Then I'm going to run sudo yum install. Maria DB server. <coughs> so Maria DB is a uh, community managed MySQL version. So I'm going to install that here. It is directly compatible with MySQL. So Maria DB 5.5 is compatible with MySQL 5.5. Okay, that's done. Clear the screen, and then I'm going to uh, start the Maria DB server. So, so System CTL start Maria Okay, it has started. 
then I'm going to enable this with the system CTL enable MariaDB. That is when um, when system reboots, MySQL server automatically restarts. I don't need to manually restart. Okay. Then I'm going to secure this MySQL. Okay, I don't have any current password, so I just press enter and then set your password. Yes, new password, new password. Okay, remove anonymous users. Yes, disallow root login remotely. Yes, remove test database and access to it. Yes, reload privileges. Yes, okay, great. So uh, now I can uh, my MySQL server is secure. I can connect to that MySQL server. So MySQL minus u user is root and password I will provide here. Okay, that's it. I have now connected to my uh, MySQL server. I here uh, show databases. database and it's showing over here okay. so um, I think I have done installing MySQL as uh, 5.5 server on my uh, Amazon Linux 2 machine it's running fine so I can now <coughs> set up all other services if I need for example Apache web server or PHP or all other Node.js or anything Java anything that I need so uh, even I can connect this uh, MySQL server from other institute instances using the local IP address. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope this helps you. Uh, please subscribe to my channel so that I can create uh, new videos every day for you. Thank you and have a nice day.